Hey Erin, Jamie Lee here. So I just wanted to answer your question and, um, and post it publicly because I have a feeling that a lot of people maybe are having the same trouble you are. So basically, Erin posted this question to me. I'm gonna try to put a screen capture up, but basically she's having a hard time putting her bird away. And I suggested or I asked if she had ever target trained her bird and her response like made me giggle so hard. And I'm not making fun of you. It was just so funny because I've never heard somebody mistaken target training with like threatening their bird. <laughs> so when I asked when I asked Erin if she had ever if she had tried target training her bird into the cage, she goes, You mean threatening her? And um no, that's, that's not what I meant. So I'm gonna show you what target training looks like so that you know what it is. And then I'm gonna show you different ways to get your bird into the cage because the main thing that I saw that was wrong with what you did is just the intention behind your actions. So first, here's what target training is. I'm gonna set it, the camera right here so you can actually see Bondi on this surface. Target training means taking something like a wooden chopstick and teaching your bird to target to it basically means touch the end of it. So, so simply she touches the end of the stick, you got one, and she gets a click and it, that means she gets a treat. And so this means that if you want your bird to come over here, you can simply put the target there, they go over to touch it, and they end up over there. So you can do this to go inside a cage or um, if somebody is really uncomfortable handling your bird and you're like, hey, just put them wherever you can have them use targeting and that way the bird is never picked up and the person can never be bit because they're simply targeting a stick. So if I want her to come over here, nope, I want you to touch the end of the stick, Bondi. Good. All right, get your little head out of there. Did you get one? Yeah, I think you're eating them in there. All right, so now I'm gonna go show you um, with Bondi different ways to get your bird to go into the cage and talk about um, the intention that I was referring to earlier um, as far as what I think you did wrong. So we'll go over there and I'll show you. All right, it's a little tricky trying to set up the camera and make it work in here, but I'm gonna show you a few different ways you can get your birds to go in the cage. Um, one is from the shoulder and it's gonna use a targeting. So I would simply hold my arm in and I have the target at the, um, at the end of my arm. And she touched it, but I didn't bring a clicker because I don't want all the birds to get clicked at the same time. Um, so that's one way to do it, is you can simply just target your bird onto it. And you can target your bird here, 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 wherever you want. Um, the other thing that I noticed that you did is that um, when you tried to put your bird in the cage, it was very confusing. The bird wasn't really sure what your intention was. Come on. Um, and that's because you didn't have a lot of control. I forget exactly how you're holding your bird, but definitely wasn't on your hand. It was kind of on your, on your um, almost arm sort of area. Like you didn't have much control over being able to express the bird exactly what you wanted. And keep in mind, we can't just speak to our birds and have them completely understand like I can speak to you. So we have to speak with our entire, like our body language to their body language. So to hopefully make this make sense, <laughs> if you have your bird like this and you're just like, oh, I don't know if I want you to go in, on, up, whatever, then the bird doesn't really know what to do either. You can tell like she doesn't know what my intention is, it's not clear. I'm just kind of holding her and expecting her to maybe make the decision. But when your bird is on your hand and you can distinctly um, let your intention be known, what I would possibly do is this, and that's just, what I'm doing is I have my bird and I'm holding the feet and I let go of one foot and my intention is very clear. I want you to step up onto there. I'm gonna give her a treat for that because she doesn't know what's going on really. <laughs> Why am I demonstrating these things? Um, so my intention is very, very clear. Your intention wasn't clear in your video. It was kind of like, was the bird supposed to step up on this part? Was the bird eventually going in the cage? Was it, like I didn't even really know what was supposed to happen. Um, so then the other thing that we like to do is called hanging up the bird. And I'm gonna try to bring you close to be able to see this, but we literally hang them up by their beaks. So 
We put them in and we hang them up. Oh, I think I missed the actual beak part of that. I'm gonna give her a treat real quick. But we literally hang them up by their beaks. Um, it's super easy with the macaws because they have bigger beaks. So the bigger the beak, the easier it is. But I'm gonna try to videotape that one more time. And uh, let's see. Okay, so I simply get her to hang on and I let go once she's hanging on. So that's what we call hanging up the bird. And people have literally laughed at us. They'll come and see us perform somewhere and if they watch us putting the birds away, that's how we do it, we hang them up. <laughs> um, it's just, yeah, it works great and it's natural. So if you go on and, and they immediately grab on, you can just let go and they're holding on and it just kind of makes sense. Um, but again, with the intention, I'll show you. So holding your bird this way, if I want her to step onto there, I let go of one foot, then the other, when she steps up. So she knows exactly where I want her to go. Um, I feel like holding your bird in your actual hand, holding feet and that whole thing is, is really important for being able to properly communicate with your bird and let, let your bird know what it wants. Um, I've even gone so far as like with Jinx, he knows that I might set him somewhere or do something with him or ask something of him when he's on my right hand, but I'll never ask anything if he's on my left hand. So it's even as big as that, you can really start to, <laughs> she's watching these two doves uh, breed. So that's beautiful. So if I want Bondi to go onto here, it's easiest for her to step up onto it instead of down. So I simply put her, I had her about three inches below it before I let go of the foot so she could step onto it completely and, uh, and just do it really easily. She knows exactly what my intention is. So if I put her inside, it's the same thing. I hold her about three inches below a perch. I let go of one foot and she knows I, that's like where I wanna put her. I'm sorry, you guys kinda didn't see that, but I'll just do it a few more times. She's totally willing to earn treats, so. If I want her to go to that, she steps up onto it. There's a treat in it for her. Come. If I want her to go up here, I hold her below. She steps up onto it. If I want to put her inside, I just hang her up. I can do that. Good girl. Um, and then the targeting, which I showed in the beginning. And the targeting is really, really great, especially if you're nervous about getting bitten or, or whatever. Um, you can target your bird anywhere. So I could even target her out right now. I'm just gonna give her a little jackpot for putting up with us. Can I pour it in? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> pour them past her face. Just a little excited about that. But yeah, I hope that makes sense. Um, you know, I noticed that a lot of people, or a lot of birds get really confused because the owner's intention just isn't clear with the body language. And just keep in mind, instead of talking to birds like they fully understand, um, communicate with your body to their body. And then it's really, really obvious. You need to go into it with intention and just make it super clear with your body language and that they really understand. So hopefully that helps.